everybody, another day, another dollar. Today is Monday, June 8th, and these are the top five things to know today on Wall Street. Let's get things started off with number one. The reopening of the U.S. economy continues to be a major theme, with New York City kick off, kicking off its first phase of restarting business activity on Monday. Non-essential retail stores will resume operations after being shut for more than two months due to the coronavirus lockdown. Now, with that being said, with all the optimism surrounding the recovery, concerns are growing that the recent nationwide protests against police brutality and racial inequality could result in a second wave of coronavirus cases spreading across the country. So keep your eyes on those headlines as the session progresses. On to number two, stocks look set to open the new week higher as Wall Street extends its recovery rally off the March 23 lows. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures as of last check were pointing to an opening gain of about 150 points. S&P and NASDAQ Futures are also pointing to positive opens. U.S. stock markets have been on a tear recently with the NASDAQ overtaking its all-time high from February uh, last week. So we'll see if the S&P and uh, Dow move closer uh, to those levels in the week ahead. On to number three, U.S. bond yields continue their recent run higher as focus shifts over to fixed income markets. The 10-year Treasury yield rose to its highest since mid-March at around 0.96% on Friday. It last stood at 0.92% on Monday morning. Now, the sharp gains in U.S. bond yields in recent days is putting more focus on the Federal Reserve, which kicks off its two-day policy meeting on Tuesday. So keep your eyes on that as well. On to number four in commodities markets. Oil prices are pushing higher following news over the weekend that OPEC and its allies, including Russia, have agreed to extend record oil production cuts until the end of July. U.S. WTI crude futures hit their highest since mid-March at $40.44 per barrel. They were last trading at around the $40 per barrel level. And finally, on to number five, some of the notable names reporting results today include Stitch Fix and Coupa Software, both due after the closing bell as the last batch of earnings continue to come in. So that's it for me for today. Don't forget to head over to YouTube, hit the like button and the subscribe button, leave me some comments, and may the trading gods be with you.